Hey what is up guys this is Asit Joshi and you are watching Tech Fusion and guys in this video I'm going to show you how to install multiple operating systems on your Windows operating system by the use of VMware so guys without any further ado let's get started Hey guys I am Asit Joshi and you are watching Tech Fusion and guys in this video we are going to install our VMware and we are going to install Kali Linux on our windows machine in a virtual box so first go to the vmware website i'll link uh, this into the description below and click on downloads and just download the workstation player i've already downloaded the vmware workstation player so let's install it click on yes and it's preparing the vmware workstation player installation so guys now our setup installation page is on and I'll just quickly skip to the final step. So let's go. So guys as you can see the VMware is completely installed and now we need to install an operating system on it so i have downloaded the kali linux iso file so in your case you can install ubuntu on it kali linux or windows 7 windows 10 any operating system which you want to install on the vmware workstation player so i have the kali linux iso file and you can download uh, the iso file from the official website of the operating system so let's open the vmware workstation So guys this is the first uh, VMware and this is the first time you boot in the VMware and now we need to create a new virtual machine so we'll click on create a new virtual machine and we are gonna choose our install a disk image as file and we need to browse it so mine is in E D drive and this is the ISO file of the Kali Linux. I'll just open it. So this is this is not able to detect which operating system it is. So we'll just click on next and just select Linux. So if your if your operating system is based on Linux, then click on Linux. And I'll select Ubuntu itself, Ubuntu 64 bit, and I'll click next. So just give your uh, virtual machine a name. So I'll set up Kali click on next then just give the the size you want to give to the operating system so I'll give in this case I'll give 15 GB so just click on next now if you want to change the RAM that you want to give uh, to the system you can change it from here so I'll give 1 GB as it's recommended and just click on finish so now it's creating a virtual machine and it has successfully created so we are going to boot into it for the first time so click on play virtual machine so guys this is the VMware starting so uh, this is the boot menu of the Kali Linux virtual machine uh, your operating system may have a different boot menu so if you want to install permanently Kali Linux in it then you can uh, go to the uh, graphical install method uh, or else we will run uh, this as a live uh, CD so that uh, time is not wasted so we'll click on live and this is booting it as live. Now if you install it graphically it will take 5 to 10 minutes but all the data that you save on this will be saved but in live uh, the data won't be saved uh, after you shut down the VMware. So that is one disadvantage in live but if you want to practice uh, some thing on VMware without installing then you can use live. So as you can see the Kali Linux system is booting up.
and there you go guys our kali linux system has been booted uh, into the virtual machine and as you can see uh, you can have all the kali linux uh, operating uh, tools that we can use uh, through the virtual machine and it's working perfectly fine so you can install your ubuntu or remix os or any other windows edition that you don't have uh, on to the virtual machine uh, vmware without uh, putting your laptop or computer onto a dual boot so as you can see it's working pretty fine and to shut this down you just click on this and just shut down your machine and we can create as many operating system as many virtual machine you want into the vmware workstation so just open your vm workstation and click on create a new virtual machine and uh, there you go you can create as many virtual machine you want and to resume your previous virtual machine just go on to it and click on play virtual machine so there it is guys we have successfully installed kali linux or any other operating system onto our windows operating system with the help of vmware workstation and you can install as many operating system as you want into the vmware workstation so that was it for uh, today guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because i keep making videos like this thanks for watching guys this is asit joshi and you're watching tech fusion